Howdy folks, uh, welcome back to my RV. Uh, this is going to be a quick, kind of lazy video. Not a lazy video. Yeah, lazy. Um, yeah, my computer is still out of commission. I was lucky enough that I got the, uh, I was able, I had an old MacBook that the hard drive went out on. And so this one that got wet, something about a logic board and a daughter board and other nerd talk that I didn't fully understand. It's like when you go to the mechanic for some people and you think like, oh, this guy's just spitting a load of hoo-ha. That's what this guy, this guy was just saying words. And I was like, all right, with your nerd code talk, and he's going to take all my money. But no, they're actually really good. I uh, highly recommend in the Dayton area DNA computers. Um, but they took the hard drive from one computer and slammed it into the other one. And it worked for about a day long enough for me to get my stuff off of it and then it started to look like an old you know like an old Nintendo when it like and the screen get all crazy and you take the game out and and try to blow I'm sorry buddy I didn't mean to scare you I was just doing a mime not really a mime because I made the sounds of an old Nintendo he's a little jumpy now because uh he got his balls cut off but I'm now the legal owner of him but he's changed it's not the same not the same guy he once was. A lot of people might bitch about the government, whether you like Obama or not. For me to legally adopt this guy, the government had to take his balls. That's why I'm off the grid. Because the government gets a hold of you. They take your balls, don't they, buddy? I'm sorry, buddy. It wasn't me. It was the government, buddy. I loved you and your balls. I would never take your balls. But, uh, yeah, so he doesn't have any balls. And I don't have a computer, so I'm doing it like this. Um, but yeah, so when they did it, a couple things happened. One, I was able to, I was able to get a lot of my files, so that's good. Um, but I had the Adobe Suite previously, which is about two grand worth of programs that uh, I now do not have, which sucks. But I also don't have a computer altogether. So they're looking at the one computer that they put the hard drive in, this is boring as shit. Nobody cares. Um, but anyway, maybe it'll get back. If not, I'll have to look into getting a job. Get myself a new computer, I guess. So for the time being, this is what you're going to get. So strap in for that, folks. No more of this fancy animations and titles and stuff on the screen. Not me, buddy. Uh, but that's all right. Like I said, we'll get through it, and then we'll get us a, uh, maybe get me a fancy new computer here in the couple months or so. Uh, but the big thing I'm coming on here to talk about is the Nomadic Fanatic podcast. I'm on there tomorrow night at 11 p.m. The link will be below. So you click on that link, you can type in little questions, and we'll answer them. I was uh, from the Paddy Wagon, Patrick from the Paddy Wagon, who I spoke to. Nice guy, class dude. Uh, spoke to him on the phone, and we're going to uh, we'll be live with him and Yarvi and possibly uh, the Nomadic Fanatic. It was funny, the RV, I saw his video and he's like, I don't know, that Luke guy, a bit of a firecracker. He looked nervous. No need to be nervous. I'm a nice guy. Uh, I do like firecracker, though. That's nice. Who's a firecracker, huh? You. I'm going to bite his little face off. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be on that tomorrow, so check it out. I'm really super stoked about that. I think it's going to be very exciting. Um, yeah, so that's a very nice thing. Not everything's been coming up Millhouse recently. Like I said, the computer thing really kind of sucks. Because I do a lot of my working from home, or working from my RV, like making websites for people, and photos, and editing stuff. So that's kind of stopped that. <clears throat> and that really hurts the old bank, bank book. I don't have a bank book. That wads of cast I shove in my mattress next to my 12 gauge. Uh, yeah, so it hurts that, and at the same time my computer went out, uh, my water pump went out, not on the engine, but the water pump for the toilet and all that stuff, so I'm currently using jugs of water. Uh, I, w I am, I took part of it apart. I want to do a video on uh, dismantling the water pump. My thought is probably that there was some ice in the tank itself, and it sucked up a chunk of ice, because it was after a particularly cold day, so... That could possibly be it. I don't know. But water pumps looked like I could see get one for about 60 bucks. So that's all right. Generators 
just about dead. Doesn't matter if it's dead or not. The muffler on it, uh, the entire, okay, it looks like you got the, the what the hell is the term for it? You got the, the pipe that comes down, the exhaust, and then the actual muffler bit, and then the exhaust off of that. The entire end of it had fallen off, so it just pukes straight out underneath the RV. So I'm essentially going no generator. But in a way, I've, that's all, I'm not, that's all right in a way. It just sucks when it gets down like to five degrees or below zero. That generator would be nice for some additional heat from the electric. But I got the little buddy that still kicks on there, and that's just on propane. So that's kind of all right. Uh, the choke on the carburetor situation is getting a little worse. My alignment's way off. Like I got to hold it like it's like I'm working the biceps. So yeah, so it's not the time to be losing my primary source of income. That quarter sucks. However, let's look on the bright side of life. Um, I see as though my computer went down, and that's sort of my kind of creative outlet, these videos and that sort of stuff. I have focused a lot harder on stand-up and getting where I want to be with stand-up. So the stand-up thing has been going really well. Look at him getting his face in there. Hey, everybody. Help me. Oh, God. I was going to try to make him talk, but he's not doing it. Yeah, show him that big teeth. Show him big teeth. He's a killer. Uh, so yeah, so the stand-up thing, I've been kicking a lot more into that, and I got, we got a two-week tour going in March. It's all the, go on my website, lucapasso.com, and you can see all the tour dates on there, with a very funny comic, uh, The Salim. He was on The Late Show, The Tonight Show, BET, all these things. Actually, really, and truly, sincerely, I'm very honored and pleased to be going on a tour with this guy. Um, sorry, I had to, uh, delete... A file to get back on there. I was talking about uh, I had enough room on my phone. So yeah, I was talking about Salim. So yeah, so I'm very happy to be doing this. Again, it's uh, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, possibly Grand Rapids on there. It's called the Rolling 78. We're going to be doing part of the tour in my 1978 Chevette, which also another video I've been meaning to do. Uh, I got it as my tow behind vehicle. Look at this dude. He's going ape shit. I got him this stuffed elephant. He goes or a hippo. He goes crazy on it. Get it, buddy. Get it, buddy. You're the you're the guy. He's gonna get it from you. Come here. Go. You forgot to bring it back. He sucks at fetch. He doesn't really get it. He comes back, but he forgets to bring back the thing. Probably because last time I sent him out for something, he came back with no balls. We got no trust anymore, buddy. It wasn't me. It was the government, buddy. But yeah, so that's called the Rolling 78, because I got a 1978 Chevette. And again, a video I'll eventually do. Again, once my computer gets back, I got a couple. Might be a while before I get to do that kind of. Like I said, I like to do them like the Wendy video. Put some time into my videos and make them nice, make them entertaining, make them fun. Uh, it's been a bit of a bummer. But again, like I said, I'm, uh, I like to have like a project going on all the, t all the time. And uh, Having not having a computer, it's forced me to focus on, again, the stand-up and other stuff. So I always got other outlets going around places. If anyone here is in the Dayton area, uh, check out the Rascals. Because uh, me and uh, a guy named John Morris, a guy, another comic uh, named John Morris, uh, another comic named Joe Young, we started two nights in Dayton, both on Patterson Street, one on a Monday, one on a Wednesday. Again, check out Rascals, and there's uh, they're just open mics. However, if you feel the urge to want to come down and do comedy, you just come down, rock up, sign up, and do your thing. Um, yes. What else do I want to talk about tonight? I think that's pretty much it. Again, check out the podcast. Please, yeah, please write in. Let me know what's up, what you're thinking, and I'll answer your questions. Uh, and yeah, check out the links below for the other sites. Go to my website. If you're in the, any of those areas, please be sure to come out for the tour and that's pretty much it for the time being uh, again thank you guys for stopping by and hopefully see you guys or hear from you tomorrow night on the podcast and peace and hair grease